Welcome to episode 10 of exam prep series. In the previous episode we saw that I was starting to get second thoughts about my preparation and we came down to just a time of 15 days from almost 50 days. Pressure was rising, stress levels were skyrocketing and our study time kept increasing along with that. So let's get started with this interesting but stressful episode. So my new year did not start with any special parties or fun activities. I just woke up quite late and got to my desk as is and started studying in the morning itself and then took a shower and then again got back to studying in the afternoon also. So according to my plan I gave myself 3 days that is 30 31st and 1st of January to revise pathology paper 1 and today was the last day so I was reading as much syllabus as I could trying to go through as much syllabus as possible in a very short time. Hello guys I was feeling a little bit sleepy so I got myself a glass full of coffee and now we are going to read amyloidosis and hopefully complete this immunopathology ka chapter and then move on to I guess information yeah information we are going to do. So yeah, that's the update. Like, so a lot of first year and NEET aspirants watch my videos, and you might be wondering, does it actually need so much effort for MBBS exams? If you want the actual truth, then it's a big no. Because a person who is studying for just a month before the exam can also pass and even score first class or distinctions also. But I chose this process of long preparation because my first year exams, I did the same one month preparation thing pretty much, and I literally cried that I am going to fail anatomy paper one just before the day of exam. I was so overwhelmed with everything, and I did not want to be like that again. So yeah, we have started off early our preparation, and we took a lot of time to cover syllabus so that we have less stress and we don't end up messing up our exam. due to stress and at the end of the day even if i just pass i would be happy with my result because it's all that matters and along with that i wouldn't have to cry like last time so yeah the pressure and stress are always going to be there before the exam but you can control how bad is it going to be so just don't get scared that you are struggling with neat syllabus then how about mbbs syllabus that this bulke you don't get worried this is just my preference to avoid the stress in last moment and write the exams with a peaceful mind Hello guys we are done with pathology and from tomorrow we are going to start of microbiology and pathology i did not revise the entire thing but paper 2 to acha gaya tha 90 95 percent i revised but paper 1 only 50 percent something i revised so we are done with pathology and many important topics to revise ke hai like lq topics tuberculosis and rbc wbc was up ke hai par sq topics like nutrition genetics and all that i did not revise properly exam ke pehle din hopefully wo ho jayega and uh, Yeah that is it and from tomorrow we are going to start my cross So as I said the next day we started off with micro paper 2 and the first thing I did was skin and skin is comparatively my favorite topic in the entire paper 2 but it took me almost 7 hours to complete skin because everything felt new all of a sudden and I was getting worried that if the same thing happens just before exam then will I again waste so many hours over a single chapter when I would only have a single day to revise between two papers and I have so many chapters yet to revise in that single day so it got me a little worried but I still kept going and studied it anyway till I Anyways, it's 10 o'clock now, and we are going to read CNS now for a little bit, like till 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. Then we will see if it's complete. Or that, then it's okay. Or not complete? Or not? I don't think so because skin only took this long. But so CNS is almost like 70% of skin. नहीं होगा अभी कल सुबह कंटिन्यू करना पड़ेगा पर अभी के लिए तो we'll do a little bit of CNS. Let's get started. it's 125 and uh, we are done with cvs i read like 50% of cvs abhi i have to read rabies and uh, what is this is the toxoplasmosis is rare and uh, neurocystis sarcosis and some amoebic uh, infections around of 7 8 questions bache hai bas kal subah if i sit down like 2 3 hours i can complete of cns but tomorrow i also have to do respiratory So tomorrow is going to be a long day I think and it's 1:30 currently so we need to go to sleep bye bye So the next day morning I ate some toast along with some coffee to get out of my sleep and got to work and start studying because I had to complete the CNS which was left over from yesterday night and also start off with the respiratory microbiology which is even more bigger than skin so I kept going till the evening with small breaks in between and then took a long break and had some kurkure while watching some YouTube and relax a bit Hello guys we got some coffee and the time currently is 9:26 
and we still have to read respiratory and today night i'm going to stay up late because tomorrow we are hosting a puja at the house so in the morning and in the afternoon also probably there will be lot of shore saraba inside the house and i really cannot focus with all that work going on so i thought i would read in the night for you know like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock and then sleep late so that even if i wake up late i will be ready for the puja in the evening and we wouldn't have wasted much time but i'm also feeling sleepy so i decided to take another coffee and hopefully by 12 o'clock we finish off uh, what is this respiratory and then we'll start genito urinary or zoonotic infections or something guys it's 1 o'clock and i still did not complete respiratory by <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing my brain is not functioning at this point i just want to sleep so anyway i knew i had to do it and i sat myself down and studied because if i leave respiratory it's going to be a big problem later Ah, uh, finally I finished this chapter, yar. It's two six currently, and I don't even think I will remember anything by tomorrow. But at least zero percent पढ़ने से अच्छा है. At least we'll read thirty or forty percent ताकि exam के पहले it will be helpful and we will revise it probably faster. I did not read it properly. I know that ऊपर ऊपर से पढ़ लिया क्योंकि I'm not really in the mood and my brain is not really receiving anything. But पढ़ना था, पढ़ लिया, हो गया. अभी the chapter is completed and now we are going to do. जेनेटो यूरिनरी दो घंटे बचे विल कंप्लीट जेनेटो यूरिनरी होपफुली चलो लेट्स गो चलो गाइस इट्स ऑलमोस्ट फोर थर्टी इन मिनट एंड या वी आर सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड जेनेटो यूरिनरी इन्फेक्शंस आधा आधा पढ़ा है भाई आई डोंट रियली रिमेंबर एनी थिंग इट्स ओके एट लीस्ट इफ वी रिमेंबर यू नो थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द थिंग्स इट विल बी इजियर टू रिवाइज जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जाम द नेक्स्ट डे ऑल्सो आई स्टेडेड फॉर एन आवर इन द आफ्टरनून एंड दैट्स इट फॉर द डे Hello guys, welcome to the next day. We are down to just 11 days starting today, and we are going to start micro paper one today because paper two we have stopped doing yesterday only, and that was the last topic we covered. That was zoonotic infections. I covered almost 80 to 70 percent, something around that number of micro paper two. And even the next few days went in the same pattern. I did not speak to the camera much, and I kept going with my work to keep up with my daily goals. So on the sixth, I did immunology from microbiology. I actually thought of doing CVS also, but it didn't happen and it got postponed. Then on seventh, I did CVS micro and I was supposed to do GIT on that day and that got postponed. And I skipped the GIT after all that because I had to start pharma by eighth so I can cover pharma paper two because that's a weak spot for me. You can notice that I am failing multiple times on following my schedule, but you can also see that I never gave up in this process. Usually, when you make a timetable, once things don't start going your way. people generally want to abandon the idea and just get back to the lazy life they were living but once you get fixated you will follow your time table no matter what the obstacle is so just get your head straight and get logged in and start studying hello guys it's january 9th now and it's 12:47 we are done with studying today we did endocrine and renal so today's goals are done and we are going to sleep micro paper 1 mein jit aur hepatobiliary chhoot gaya tha so i couldn't revise that but okay pharma paper 2 has a good start probably and from today we only have exactly one week where is my finger huh. see we only have one week seven days left for the exam and on 16th we have our exam and these are the rest of the dates of the exam so yeah one week left and the pressure is really high the next few days also went in the same flow i was just doing one thing and one thing only every day just sitting at my desk and finishing my daily goals and as much as i say i hate exams the person i become during exams is something motivating for me itself it's like you enter a flow state and everything around you isn't a distraction anymore you don't want to sit and scroll reels you don't want to sit and watch youtube or do time pass because you know you have to do some things and day and night you are thinking about only one thing that is how your exams will go will the paper be easy will the paper be tough will you remember anything will you forget everything so many things but we still kept going hello guys welcome to the next day today is 12th and we only have four days left for the exam and 
in the morning i studied for like two and a half hours and then i took a bath i trimmed off my beard because papa sahe padiksha is done so after 41 days i finally trimmed off my beard it was very irritating now we are free of all that and now in the morning i revised chemotherapy a little bit because i was feeling under confident with it and i was worried so in the morning i spent 2 hours and revised it off thoda bahut matlab 60% something like that chalo now we are going to start reading paper 1 again so let's go at this point even before exam start if i was asked to make a prediction that in which paper will i get the most marks then i would probably say pharma paper 1 because I just find it easy to remember compared to anything but at the end of the day it all depends on the paper and how much I remember in the exam hall and I'm quite positive that this paper will go well and yeah that's it for the episode and the next episode is going to be exams week and that episode is going to be worth watching trust me just come back next Wednesday at 5 pm and you will have a lot of fun and you will see all the drama I went through during those two weeks and it has been a crazy journey so I just can't wait to show you that episode so I'll see you next Wednesday until then bye bye